So let's look at these two ionic compounds and ask the question, well, how many ions are in ionic compounds? And let's say if we had a mole of an ionic compound, how many ions do we have? So here's sodium chloride. Let's, let's just say we have one mole of sodium chloride. The question is, what's the actual number of sodium chloride formula units? So the number of sodium chloride units, the number of sodium ions, and the number of chloride ions in that mole. Well, <clears throat> if we had one mole of sodium chloride, we would have one mole of sodium chloride units. So the answer to this one is one mole or the actual number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd NaCLs. These little, imagine if you have these little specks that were NaCLs. You would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd NaCLs. The question now is how many ions? Sodium would be the same thing. It would be one mole or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, in this case, sodium ions. The chloride would be the exact same thing. One mole, or 6.02, times 10 to the 23rd, chloride ions. This is so because Sodium chloride, for each sodium chloride, there is one sodium and one chloride. Everything is in a one-to-one -one ratio. It's kind of like if you had a, a pen. It's my version of a pen. You had a cap on the pen. And well, if there's there's a pen body, and then there's I know that's not one word, but then there's the pen cap. So if the question is, let's say I have a thousand pens. Okay, I have a thousand pens. But that also means I have a thousand caps and a thousand bodies, pen bodies. So the same thing here with sodium chloride. Think of lithium carbonate sort of like a, a pen that has two caps. Because the pen has two usable ends, just imagine. So here's one pen, and for every one pen there are two caps, and there is one pen body. Okay. So if we have a mole of lithium carbonate, we would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd lithium carbonate units. And in that mole, we would have 12.04 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd lithium ions because there's two lithiums for every one unit just like there's two caps for every one pen and there would be 6.02 or one mole 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd 
carbonate ions for every one mole of lithium carbonate. Now, I'm going to put up a couple of examples that I want you to try. Here's iron 3 sulfate. So, determine the number of iron 3 sulfate units, the number of iron 3 ions, and the number of sulfate ions if you're given one mole of this compound. So, pause the video and then come back and Check your answer. So, for one mole of iron 3 sulfate, you'll have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd iron sulfate units, have 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd iron ions, iron 3 ions, that's twice 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, because there's two iron 3s for every one unit. And then finally, there will be three times as many sulfate ions because there's three times the amount of sulfate there are as there are units. So in one unit, you get three sulfates. So it's 18.06 times 10 to the 23rd. Try one more. Here's another problem with ammonium sulfate. So given one mole of this compound, determine the actual number of ammonium sulfate units and the number of ammonium ions and the number of sulfate ions. So again, pause the video for a moment, try it out on your own, and come back and check your answer. Okay, so for one mole of this compound, you get 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd units. And in that mole, you'll have twice as many ammonium ions because there's two ammoniums for every one from the unit. So it's 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd. And for sulfur, it, or for sulfate, it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd sulfate ions.